Hey, what's happening FTD fam? Welcome back to FTD Speaks. Here's a video, it is trending right now. A Muslim player, he shocks the entire world with this. Let's take a look, see what happened. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. I hope you are well. Subcontinent, entire subcontinent are cricket crazy fans. Oh, it has yeah. produced some finest cricketers as well. How many of you watched India-Pakistan match yesterday? Most of you probably, if you are from cricket playing nation. You can't take your eyes off the screen, right? Whether in cafe, home, family, friends, entire country would have glued eyes to the screen. It was a great victory for Pakistani team. Shaheen Afredi, Babar Azam, Muhammad Rizwan, Masha Allah, they played it awesome. I don't want to give you commentary here. If you guys noticed, Muhammad Rizwan, he's such an amazing person, brothers and sisters. He was praying Salah during the break. Oh, wow, Masha Allah, praying. that's awesome. During the he game. played well, was seen making dua, praying Salah on the ground. Sometimes we are shy to pray in front of people, isn't it? But that's awesome. He didn't bother about people. Now, some of you would say it's UAE, it's a Muslim country, he's from a Muslim team. Not a big deal, brothers and sisters. The Muslim world looks up to the West. We don't have the glory we had in the past. Previously, he happened to play while he was fasting and scored pretty well. Masha Allah. Something to learn here is not to give up on Salah because you alone have to do it. Always make the intention and pray it. Athletes are always an inspiration. They work extremely hard to be on the ground. In cricket, you have only one life. When it comes to batting, it's a lot harder than we can imagine. Right. The other thing is to improve our skills and try to become the best. Trust me, when you are skilled, you have a lot of value. If you are good at your work, people would respect your beliefs as well. More important is humility. All praise and glory belongs to Allah. May Allah grant us best skills and make Him worship in the best way possible. We have been given a beautiful gift in Salah. Whatever ambitions you are striving for, know that your Salah is the most important and valuable deed you can do. In other forms of success seem elusive and far away. Know that you have already been blessed with the best and most tangible route to success five times a day. So that must have been a huge surprise for a lot of people. And yes, of course, there's a lot of Muslims watching it. But to see somebody who is Muslim just pray in the middle of the cricket pitch, that's also pretty cool to see because he's not afraid to show his beliefs. And as a commentator said in the, the video that a lot of times people, they're worried about what other people might think of them. A lot of people are watching, not just in person, but also on TV and everything. It's like, oh, okay, if I do this, if I really show my faith, are people gonna talk about it? Like, is it gonna be a, contro a controversial thing? Are they gonna judge? Oh, look at that weird guy praying over there. But the fact that he just went and just, just did it, there's no care in the world, that in itself is inspiring. So being an athlete is one thing. Yes, an athlete is gonna inspire people to, to do more, be better, work hard. And there's no denying that athletes, they work extremely hard. That's why they get paid very, very, very well. It's a lot of pressure on the body and on the mind to be uh, a successful athlete. But he didn't just stop there, you know? He brought his religion into it. So I think this is gonna be very inspiring for a lot of uh, people watching who are Muslim as well as other players who are Muslim. Some other players may have just said, you know what, I'm I'm playing cricket, you know, I'm just not gonna pray, I'm, I might go pray in the, the locker room or something, or I'll just pray after, you know? But he, he I, think, I think he's gonna be an inspiration to a lot of people, just when it's time to pray, go ahead and, and pray, regardless of what people are gonna say. Especially in a case like this, where you're on an open field, and it's not like the game is actually going on at that particular moment. No, it just, there was a break. So he took that chance to get his prayer done. Very good use of time, I would say. All right, guys, so that's my two cents on this. Thank you guys for watching and hanging out with me here on FTD Speaks. Don't forget to leave a like before you get on out of here. And I always link to the original videos that I react to below in the video description section. So always check them out. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.